Good morning, and thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. Before we get down to lesson one of everything you do matters, let me throw out a disclaimer. If you're not open, if you don't take your guard down, and you're actually ready to receive what I'm about to give you, you're going to receive no value. So if you resist some of these learnings and think they're not actually true, you're going to get nothing out of it. However, with that in mind, in 1937, there was a great book published by Napoleon Hill, who was actually coaxed and guided by Andrew Carnegie to take 25 years of Napoleon's life to research and analyze the most powerful people on the planet in the early 1900s. And in writing that book, he devised 13 principles that if mastered and applied, we will have the ability to become wealthy and abundant with riches. And in that book, which was called Think and Grow Rich, chapter one's title was Thoughts Are Things. And in that chapter, it talked about and summarized that what you think about most, mixed with emotion and backed by faith, will translate itself into the physical equivalent or reality. So what that means is whatever thoughts are going mostly on in your mind, and you believe in it, backed by faith, and you're emotional about it, it's going to translate itself into physical reality. Now, it does not specify whether those thoughts are positive or negative. Now, here's something you need to be very aware of. Negative thoughts and poverty thoughts need no permission to enter that little brain of ours. It just gets in there without even knocking on the door. Positive thoughts and wealth thinking has to be conditioned. So now that you're aware of that, you need to be conscious of that to really ward off the negative thinking and anything that goes that direction. And you really need to condition yourself to be in the right mode. So let's look at this again. The most dominant thoughts in your mind, mixed with emotions and backed by faith, will translate itself into the physical equivalent. Let's say you're really emotional about things that aren't going right in your life or in your business. You're emotional about it. You're backing it with faith because you see it happening and you believe in it. It's the dominant thoughts in your mind, so unfortunately, more of that is going to happen. If you're on a roll and things are just happening, day after day, nothing could go wrong. It's a dominant thought in your mind. You're on your A game. Things are happening. You're emotional about it. You're just, you're juiced up. You've got faith in it because it's happening. And you transpire more of that. So he, what's the, mo the most important ingredient here? Is number one, you really need to be conscious of what you're thinking. And most importantly, you need to stay away from the wrong stuff. And here's a few pointers to make sure you stay away from that. Number one, don't watch the news. CNN, constant negative news channel, forget it. That stuff doesn't serve you. It has you going down the wrong path, thinking of things that are wrong. And you start noticing things that are wrong. And you start complaining about it. Think about as you're going through social media, talking about politics, whatever side you're on, it doesn't matter, but it gets emotional and gets negative. Those thoughts are in your brain. Look out for the people you hang out with. I'm sorry to say that, but you need people to lift you up, to make you better, to make sure you stretch outside your comfort zone to become more so you're thinking about more. Be very conscious about the books you read or what you read, anything you read. Very simply, make sure you're listening to the right people, you're reading the right books, you're saying the right affirmations, because remember, as long as you put the good stuff in, there's not enough room for the bad stuff to get in there. So stay away from whatever is negative, whether it's TV, radio, social media, people, books, magazines, whatever it is, stay away from it. It doesn't serve you. But most importantly, take the time to condition yourself for the right thoughts in your mind, look for the right things in your life, and maybe even get a gratitude journal to look at the things that you have that other people dream about. Make sure, and if it's important to you, I would recommend go to Think Go Rich and read that first chapter and also the chapter on auto-suggestion to get a really good understanding of how this mind works so you could have it work for you 
versus working against you. So hopefully step one has been valuable. I want to thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. And I want to wish you a productive and profitable week. Go get them. Thank you.